the diesel heater's been cycling up and down all night the last two nights just because of how chilly it's been. I'm gonna get my clothes changed. I wanna get out of here. now we're in Arizona and just being out in the sun after all the weeks of cold weather this was feeling so good you know at some point during this drive here I put my shorts on I don't know exactly when but and that's like uh, one of the things and this is gonna sound really stupid but one of the things that I tried to set as a goal when I started traveling was I wanted to be able to wear shorts all the time and it doesn't always work out but I'm gonna say about 90 percent of the time I'm wearing shorts and when I put on long pants it feels strange now because I'm so used to wearing shorts and that was just one of the things that I that was like a little goal I set and I don't mind putting on long pants but uh, it just feels so good to be able to wear shorts and a light shirt, you know, a t-shirt all the time. So out in this kind of uh, landscape here, you get to see some of the most beautiful rock structures and all that. And if you've never been into the Arizona, New Mexico, Utah areas of the country, you've got to get out there and just drive around and see all the beautiful sights out there. It's like nowhere else in the country. Really gorgeous.
Okay, we just stopped for the night. Check this place out. Now this is, I guess there's a trailhead here and this is the parking area for the trailhead. And you're allowed to stay overnight. Got five bars on the cell phone. I think because of that guy right there. What a gorgeous place. Really nice. So I've seen a couple people come down. So the trail, I can see it goes up along up this area here. Because I just saw a couple of girls come hiking down. But what a beautiful place. I know Lefty feels good to get out of the truck. So we did um, 65 all day today, up, up and down some really wild New Mexico terrain. The truck did awesome. I put a little bit of oil in it this morning, about a quart and a half, put some more diesel in, and I'm wondering if I just had a bad batch of fuel that was causing problems. I just um, called Jeff, because I, was going faster than him and especially all those hill climbs I know he was probably pretty far behind me so I called him I sent him a pin to the location told him it's a go there's even a nice little place to sit over here It'd be great if he would um, stop and grab a large pizza tell me that wouldn't hit the spot right now <laughs> so we're gonna spend the night here we'll see you in the morning Feel good to breathe some air that doesn't have diesel in it left. Hi everyone, it's giveaway time. You all know the King Slim D4 dash cam. Now you all know that King Slim is an Acaso company. And coming up in a future video, I'm gonna show you a brand new piece of gear that Acaso sent me, this new camera, this action cam. This will be my third Acaso action cam. I'm gonna show you footage from this thing and you guys are gonna love it. I'm gonna be giving away some of my previous action cams. Any of you that wanna start shooting videos with one of these, so watch an upcoming video. We're gonna talk about action cams. But today what we've gotta do is the giveaway for the D4 King Slim dash cam. Let me get the computer set up here. All right, we're gonna paste the link in for the video. Specific text, which was K-I-N-G-S-L-I-M. I've got to add my patrons. They automatically get entered into every drawing. Let's go ahead and see how many comments, how many entries we got. And then we're gonna pick a winner. And this is a great dash cam. 642 plus 29 extras. Here we go. FDNY Buffle 132. Thank you for the opportunity to get the King Slim. I am assuming this person is somehow associated with the fire department in New York. Thank you for your service. And they have uh, what looks like uh, a rescue rig as their profile picture. Outstanding. Thank you for watching the channel. So FDNY Buff L132. Get a hold of me within 72 hours. Give me your info and I'll get this thing shipped right out to you. Congratulations to you and thank you all for entering the giveaway. We've got more things coming up just like always. I get gear from manufacturers so that I can check it out because I love new gear and a lot of it I give away to one of you. And that's I think a good process I got going here. I enjoy doing it and I know all of you enjoy winning things or getting a chance to win things. So thank you for being here and for entering. Let's get back to the video. Sun is just starting to crack. It's a nice place for the night, really nice. I hear somebody. Hello. Here you go. Come on. I'm just talking to the folks. Okay. 
damn it. There you go. I want to get on the road. There's a loves about 17 miles across 10. So I want to get Jeff up and scoot over there so he can get his coffee. I want to get inside and get cleaned up in the warm water. That sounds like a good idea. I got to talk to Jeff, but I'm pretty sure I heard him go last night at like midnight and tell somebody to shut their effing dog up. So this dog started barking and for like 45 minutes. But I got to ask him, I'm pretty sure that was him. Yeah, it was him. <laughs> Agriculture inspection station coming up. I haven't done one of these in a while. It's usually, uh, well, on the way back and forth to Mexico, there's one, and then there's one when you cross into California. No, they didn't have a stop, they just went right on through. It just got a sign that says go, and there's nobody there. There were a lot of vehicles. I mean, there's there's personnel there, but they're not stopping us. Amazon, and it actually comes out because uh, I'm on my stories. I'm always posting. dummy we pulled up here we're at a pilot we pulled up you know I leave the truck running to let it cool down and we get out I clip up lefty and we get out they got some nice grass here to walk and I jump out and as soon as I take like three steps I'm like where's the extra keys I pat my pockets I forgot my extra keys I had put them in my jacket pocket that I was wearing earlier. So I always make sure to carry my extra keys in my pocket so that I don't lock myself out of the truck. So I locked myself out of the truck. So I first thing I do is go around, because I've done this before, but been very lucky that one time I had the side door um, window open so the screen was there and I was able to slide the screen open reach my arm in and unlock the side door. So first thing I do is go check that. Nope, it's fully closed and latched. I go to the cab to see if the window's down far enough because I did it another time where I was able to reach in through the open driver's window and reach down and grab the handle and unlock the door. Nope, both of the windows are up. The driver's window is cracked like a quarter of an inch. So obviously I'm not reaching my arm in there. So I say, so I say, oh, I can reach in through the access door to the key, my key hooks, which are right inside of that access door on the wall. 
to see if my extra keys are hanging there. But I kind of knew in the back of my head that they were in my jacket pocket, which was hanging over on the hook by the side door. So I reach in there and I grab all the keys that are hanging there, motorcycle key, um, like three sets of keys. Two of them have cabinet keys on them. Now I have two keys. One key is all my cabinets. The other key is my doors, the side door and the rear doors. So I grab those and I go back to my cabinet. I unlock it. I start looking at tools. What can I do to try to pry the door open? And then I say, well, I'm at a pilot that has a service center. So I walk across the parking lot there to that service center. Nice young guy in there working on, he's changing a tire on a rig. And I told him what I did and he's like, yeah, let me finish this and I'll be right over. I'm like, oh, great. And as I'm walking back across the parking lot, I'm like, wait a minute. I just grabbed my, my keys, one of which is a door key, the side door. So I go around there and sure enough, I unlock the side door and now I'm in the truck, I'm in the house, you know. So I walk back over and let that guy know. I said, hey, I figured it out, you know. I didn't want to embarrassingly tell him the whole story, but I told him I was able to reach in through the oxygen door and get, uh, get my extra keys to the cabinet. So what a dummy I am. I'm such a dummy. We are 51 miles out from Quartzsite. I, I can't believe that we're finally going to be arriving down here. It's been a lot of driving. I'm coming up on 3,500 miles of driving since we left New York, and it's um, it's been a long it's been a long trip and a lot of moving. And yesterday, Jeff and I were like, "Man, I'm just tired of traveling. We just keep moving and moving and moving." And, I mean, I've seen some wild places and we've stayed some wild places, but I need to plant myself and unwind. Um, as much as I like traveling, and it's been expensive, a lot of diesel. Uh, I'm going to go through my um, credit card and look at how much I've spent on diesel and I know it's going to make me sick because the majority of stations we went to were the $5 plus range. You know, there were some out there in uh, South Dakota, 419 was the lowest we paid, but the majority of the places that I was putting fuel in were like 523, that seemed to be the price. So we're down under 50 miles to go now. I, I honestly cannot wait to get there so that I can just unwind, let Lefty unwind, get comfortable. Really looking forward to it.
buddy. You know where we are? Hi, Poppy. You feeling good out here? Is that a burp? Ah, is that all you got to say? <laughs> Ugh, a little blowback there. Oh. Oh, this sun feels so good. Oh my goodness. There's something about being here that's just comforting. You know, we pulled in to town. I just slept like nine solid hours without stirring. That has not happened in weeks. You know, I know I'm a short drive away from food and water and shower and laundry and all that good stuff. Got to get out all of his gear, his chair, his bed, my chair that he just spent an hour laying on, even though it's my chair. So I think today we're going to take this thing and wash it. Look at this poor bike. So you see all the dust? It's just covered. This is like where the where the cover was bungeed down so it doesn't have any dust, but like every other square inch of the bike is just covered. This poor thing, we're gonna get it cleaned up.